Alright, welcome to part 3, Tornado Twins here, and let's start adding vegetation to our tree. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a texture so we can see the difference between what is what once we start adding leaves. So first go over to the right here and hit the plus sign, uh, and that will bring up our browser. And then go to the folder where you downloaded the demo trees. And let's select first the broad leaf bark texture. And as soon as I click open, it also finds the normal map for me and makes things really easy. So I'm going to drag that in onto the trunk and that's going to inherit down to the roots and all the branches as well. The only thing that's not covered yet here is the uh, the knot holes and the, um, the end of the trunk. So we're going to hit plus again, go to that same folder and then um, select cap number two for example. And it also finds a normal map. I'm going to drag that in onto the cap of the tree and it fills it right up. I also did it for the uh, for the other stumps there. In case it didn't, you may just have to drag it on there manually on your end. Okay, so that works. Let's start adding leaves. And it starts to get really interesting here. Let's go to our meshes tab because, you know, we can add our own... Uh, you know uh, vertices per leaf but that makes an insanely high polygon count for our tree so we don't want to do that so in our packages uh, that we've downloaded they've already added a um, a broadleaves.obj which is a 3d file and if I open that up you can see what it looks like first it asks me what do you want to use it for and I want to use it as a leaf so I'm going to use the default here as you can see there's a very simple mesh with uh, you know, just four polys where uh, you know the, the UVs on there will have the texture so what I need to do first is have a place for that mesh to go so first I'm going to select uh, the uh, the level one branches here now actually I'm going to start with level two the outermost right click that and say add geometry leaves and I'm going to do camera facing standard Okay, and this creates all kinds of textures that are facing the camera by default. And that's not exactly what we want with this mesh, but it changes as soon as we drag and drop the mesh on there, and now you can see that it looks much, much better. Um, however, our our total count of um, you know uh, polygons have skyrocketed to about 9,000, uh, and we can change that. So first what I'm going to do is select these leaves, and then I'm going to... Um, uh, switch to absolute style and also go to let's try and uh, no I'm gonna leave that the classic um, what I'm gonna do is increase the size of them so go to the cards and increase the size to about maybe six or seven and this makes it really uh, really big um, and we have many more than we need so we can um, take those out by using collision so if I go all the way back to my tree here and then go to uh, where it says leaf collision as soon as I enable that it will start to remove leaves based on if they're colliding with each other or not because then you have too many in one place so I'm gonna set those to call so it's only gonna call or uh, you know, remove the ones it doesn't need um, and let's see spread factor then change that much I don't think of what I need here it's about right. So polygon counts about at six thousand right now. So as I increase the size, um, some of them will be removed as soon as I let go of my mouse because they are colliding with each other. So let's add the texture to that. Let's click the plus sign here and go back to the folder and select a. Oh wait, hold on. I'm in meshes, not in materials. So let's do that in materials and then go to the broadleaf underscore uh, desktop texture and as you can see it is a uh, branch with a little twig on it um, in one texture so as I open that up and drag that onto this mesh you can see that they are all connected to the branches correctly so this looks nice but still our um, our tree looks looks pretty empty in the middle so we're gonna do a little uh, sort of a game development trick here so we're gonna go back to our level one right click those and add geometry to that leaves camera facing standard and this adds a bunch of standard uh, you know facing billboards or is what they're called in unity but leaf cards is what they're called in speed tree towards the middle and as you can see that fills up the middle and makes it look like it's a full tree 
So we're gonna need a different texture for that as if it doesn't come out of the branches. So I'm gonna hit materials the plus sign again. Go back to that folder and we go to the broadleaves cart, which is a camera facing cart or billboard and open that up and as you can see it does not have not a beginning or an end it's just kind of a blob so when I drag that on there it looks like um, well actually it just changed from camera facing to becoming a mesh so we need to change that back uh, which is in the um, you know the the cards section switch that back to cards and so now it looks like they're actually facing um, us but they're very much around the branches so I'm gonna increase the size of these as well and I'm going to change the placement here also um, so the distance from the tree could be a bit larger see here the maximum distance minimum distance could be smaller as you can see now that fills up the tree much more nicely but as nice as those first few leaves look, uh, we're still far away from completing a nice tree because right now it looks a little bit like a mess or like an exploded aisle, <laughs> if you will. So uh, because we can see right through the, the branch at the top here and the branches go really close to the leaves go really close to the stem. So we can't really see the, the you know, sort of a lush, lush tree as we want it to be. So um, a little bit that has to do with once we make the branches and then add the leaves, some of the branches need to change again. So we'll do that, but first let's work a little bit on these uh, on these on these uh, leaf uh, meshes here on the side. Um, let's go back to our sizes and then increase them to maybe eight and a half, so even more, um, so that we have a little bit more fullness on the end. But then let's hide all the leaves and tweak the branches just a bit. Let's go to our level one. And as we started off, we opened the tree up to be pretty wide here, which is fine, but you want it to be closer at the top. So what we're going to do is going to in go into our spine and tweak our start angle, but only the last end of the note here, which is bottom of the branch, end of the branch, or the stem or the trunk. Um, and if I pull that down, you can see that the top is now closer together. And this will give us a denser tree uh, in terms of vegetation up top and a little bit more cleanliness at the bottom. Okay, so we'll do that. Next, let's go to our level two branches here that are sticking out a little bit weird as well. So let's go to um, our start angle here and let's push the whole um, thing down to about 1.5. 3, 1.4, something like that. That looks good. And also, well, let's work on the generator. Um, they're right now being generated, you know, on the stem, and we can um, turn the, the the first down to about yeah something closer to the to the trunk. There we go. So three, three point one. So yeah, that's it. That looks good to me. Okay. So now that we've edited some of the branches again let's unhide the leaves but I'm first gonna start with the with the with the top ones here these are very thin and we can see right through them um, and that's not exactly what we want um, so let's duplicate this thing copy and paste it and also connect that one to level 2 but now we have both of them at the same placement exactly so what we're gonna do with the second one here is we're gonna rotate it towards the right uh, a touch and as you can see that creates a lot more fullness inside of the tree. Let's see what we have here, 0 0.3, 0 0.8. Let's go all the way to like halfway, so 0 0.5. And that creates a little bit more uh, density already. Okay, now let's go and go to our sizing of both of these. I'm gonna select both of them. And let's go to our curve here and as you can see they are smaller at the end of the branch and maybe that's not what we really want anymore so as you can see as I pull this down and up the thinness at the end of the branches changes so if we want this to be a straight curve just select down and hit max and that creates a maximum curve for maximum density so I like the way that looks next let's work on the leaf cart so I'm gonna unhide those by hitting the H key and let's tweak these a little bit as well let's go to into our generator and let's also mess with the first point on the branch where they can be created and crank it up to move them away from the from the trunk so something like that looks much better to create some openness here in the middle and uh, let's also take the size of them down a bit because they're pretty huge so I'm gonna take that down to maybe nine or so 
that looks a little bit better as well. Okay, so now we have them around the first level of um, trunks. Let's also copy it, paste it, and put it on the second level of detail so that they're around the smaller branch. And as you can see now, things start to get a lot more dense. But however, of course, the settings are a little bit different. So let's go back to our generator and mess with our first and last variables again, which are pretty much the most important ones. Uh, so let's pull that down to about 1.18. And the last, uh, let's tweak that down a bit, to get them a little bit closer. And there we go. That looks very, very nice. Looks very nice to me. All right, some of the uh, leaves are um, you know, fighting each other a little bit in the culling. Let's go into the tree properties. Go into our leaf collision. And let's pull the cull tolerance down just a bit. So that we get a little bit more fullness in the tree. Beautiful. Yeah, that's exactly what I was looking for. Great. Alright, now it still looks a bit wonky, but that's only because of the lighting and the colors. Um, so let's select our light source here. And let's work on that a little bit. I'm going to increase the scalar, so the, the, the intensity, if you will, to 1.3. And as you can see, now we have a lot more uh, brighter spots. And it gives me a very, very nice looking tree here. Um, but also, that's you know the source of light that we'll use to bake the shadows inside of the tree. So with that, let's select all the leaves. And we can select them one by one using Shift or right-clicking and saying Select All Like Selected. And select all of them of the same kind. And let's then go into our lighting and tweak some of the ambient occlusion here. Now as I increase and decrease the dimming, you can see what the shadows are doing. But first let's decrease the dimming all the way to zero so we can see what we're doing. All right, next let's bake our ambient occlusion. We can do that by hitting the AO button there and hitting OK and it starts to bake. And as you can see now the lighting is uh, correctly baked with all the leaf cards and all that taken into account. And so the middle is darker than uh, you know the outsides but let's tweak some more on the leaves that we have selected. Let's go with the minimum here and let's pull that all the way down. But then let's work on the offset. Increase that a bit. And there we go. That's a nice looking tree, um, almost exactly like the example that we started off with. And I really like the way that looks. It's not too dark, it's not too light. There are good full branches here and there and in the next videos we're going to spend a lot more time explaining uh, level of detail, optimization, ABN occlusion and those kinds of more advanced features. So follow me over to the next one.